Hi, my name is Ron Sebastian. I just happen to be working here on a spreadsheet application that I downloaded off the internet. As you can see here, it's a break-even analysis where we can, uh, where I can adjust different prices for products to find the break-even point based on the costs. What I'll do here is I'll key in a different number here, and as you can see, as I enter in the different numbers, you can see that the chart automatically changes. And if I go down a little bit uh, further here, you can see my break-even analysis chart here as the data automatically updates as I enter new data. Now, you can spend a lot of money purchasing an office suite that would be necessary to, in order to handle this kind of application. But in my case, I happen to be used IBM, the new IBM Lotus Symphony product, which is a free download from, uh, from the symphony.lotus.com website and gives you a complete set of office editors that are based on the industry standard open document format with compatibility with those existing um, applications and spreadsheets and documents that you may already have. We have a, a, a document editor which gives you the word processing capability. It has a spreadsheet editor which I just showed you, very powerful spreadsheet functionality. We also have a presentation editor so that you can create presentations and deliverables. And again, we also have a community-based website where you can go, ask questions, get support, and also download content like clip art and templates for documents and spreadsheets, etc., um, very easily accessible. And again, these are ODF-based, based on the open document format industry standard um, to be able to edit and uh, save those documents. And again, the website to download this free set office suite is simply go to symphony.lotus.com. Now let's just go back here and just take a closer look at uh, some of the capabilities that we have with the Office Suite. I've kind of showed you already the um, spreadsheet editor. And again, the spreadsheet editor has uh, many different capabilities. The, the ability here to spell check, create data points, create charts and graphs like I've, like I've already showed you here. So again, certainly more capability than what we normally would use a spreadsheet for if we're doing our expenses or <clears throat> doing our budget. Let me move over now to our word processing application. Again, integrated into this environment, we have here over on the right a what we call a property a property panel. It's context sensitive. Depending on the object that you select in your document, that property panel will change to reflect the properties of that object. Makes it very easy to customize and edit your your document. Again, the capabilities here within the word processing for for spell checking and tables and <clears throat> formatting, etc. Now the last one here I'll show you is the, um, the presentation application. Again, the ability to create presentations with the property panel that you see over here on the right. We also have um, <clears throat> tools, for example, we have a gallery, a gallery tool where we have a set of you know, already pre-installed clip art. So you can simply select, a, for example, a piece of clip art here, drag it onto your application, and pretty up the application the way you want. And of course, you can add your own clip art um, for your applications as well. Now, with all of the editors, with all of the editors here, the spreadsheet, the, um, the word processing, and the uh, presentation editor, if you want to give a copy of, this, uh, of, of the content to somebody where you don't want them to edit them, we also have the capabilities, you can see on this menu, export to PDF. You can take any of this information and export it to BF. You don't have to install any other software, and we automatically support that function. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we support the open document standards, but what I'll do here is I'll go to the file open menu and show you that not only do we support the open document formats, but we also support most of the industry formats out there. For example, you can see the open document formats at the top. For all you Lotus Smart Suite users out there, you now can move your documents into uh, these set of editors and take advantage of them. And of course, you can see at the bottom here, we also support <clears throat> the Microsoft Office uh, formats. For example, this I was showing you earlier, an Excel spreadsheet running inside using the open uh, document format editors. So again, this is all part of um, the open, uh, all part of the Lotus Symphony, uh, Symphony suite. Now, let's just go to the website to show you a little bit about what that looks like. So from here is where you can download the product. Did I mention to you that this was free? Just simply click on the download button and you can see here that we have uh, available right now, we have versions for Linux and for Windows. Simply select the version that you want and download it onto your uh, workstation and install it and away you go, you'll be able to use these products right away. 
<clears throat> the gallery um, link here, this is where you, we have, you know, extra clip art that we'll be constantly updating that you can download. We also have placed here, um, uh, for example, some template documents. For example, you can see them here, as well as some template presentations and some <clears throat> sample spreadsheets so that you can get started right away. If we go to the Buzz link here, you can get current news, what's happening, and keep up to date on what we're doing with the product, when new releases are coming out, what new features are going to be available. And if you have a question or a concern or want to know how to use something or you're having a problem, simply go to the support forum here and ask your question, put it online. Um, people will be able to respond quickly, depending on your environment, be able to give you hints and tips and all of the other issues that you may have, have with the product. So again, the ability to provide this online support is also part of the Lotus Symphony environment. Now, one of the interesting things and be, that Lotus Symphony provides is the fact that we've taken these ODF editors, started with the um, open office kind of um, environment, but then made them into Eclipse-based plugins. And using the Lotus Expediter product, we've been able to take these editors and create them as Eclipse plugins. What does this mean? This means that we're able to take, we will be able to take these editors and allow you to embed them into other applications to make those other applications more powerful. In fact, that's exactly what we did with Lotus Notes 8. As you can see here, I have my Lotus Notes 8 client. Now, Notes 8 is also based on that same Lotus Expediter product, which is that Eclipse-based environment. So, for example, here you can see my um, you can see my mail. But with every copy of Notes 8, we also include the embedded versions of the Lotus Symphony editors. So, for example, you can see here here's that same spreadsheet that I showed you earlier, as well as the same document and the same presentation, all now embedded inside of the Notes 8 client. But Notes 8 is more than just a mail client, it's also an application platform. And it's, it allows us to build composite applications. And since Lotus Symphony is also built on this Eclipse plugin model, we can actually start to build applications that embed the editor components in them. So if you need, an if you need a word processing um, component, you can add that into your own application. And that's exactly what I've done over here. I'll load up the editor window here. And you can see here that I have a, a, an application, the editor, the word processing uh, components on the right. And on the left, I have just basically a simple selection that allows me to select different options. If I select these, you can see how the content automatically changes inside of the editor window. What we're doing here is I'm actually sending data from one application to another. And how do we do that? Well, Notes 8 provides that capability native with the product. I simply go in and say, edit the application, place the components on the page that I want, bring up the wiring tool and simply select the output of one application and point it to the input of the editor application. And that's all there is to it. I have now com created a composite application that uses um, the uh, Lotus Symphony editors as part, of its, as part of its application. So what have we seen here? Lotus Symphony. Lotus Symphony is a set of um, editors for documents, for spreadsheets, for presentations, a community support environment, optional support for enterprises if you want, to, uh, if you want that as well, ODF-based editors, yet provide compatibility with your existing formats, for example, SmartSuite or Microsoft Office. Again, a free download from symphony.lotus.com. My name is Ron Sebastian. See you again soon.